Very cute. Morning. Oh, so cute. <laughs> This is the view. Like, good morning, guys. Welcome to a new vlog. It's even recorded here. It's the last time I did a vlog was when I thought I was starting YouTube like consistently, but that backfired very quickly. To be honest, I was struggling with like the balance of like all platforms like TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and I feel like being newly full time, it was just a lot. And I just wanted to focus on my main platforms. Well, I do really love YouTube. I feel like I get so many lovely comments saying like, I don't know, just really like wholesome things which you just wouldn't get on any other platform. But yeah, I really wanted to vlog this because we've got like a really wholesome couple days coming up. Well, pretty much mainly today. I'm gonna sit down because my arm's aching. <laughs> She's doing it in the bathroom, so I can't even tell her to stop. Oh, there we go. She stopped. You know what? I'm going to get the handle thing. <laughs> oh, maybe not. But yeah, it's basically a staycation with a brand, which is just honestly, literally music to my ears. Like a girly staycation. It's with the brand Masura, which is kind of part of Sheen, I think. I recently ordered some stuff from Masura, which is on Sheen. It's like really quirky, cool girl outfits guys i'm just jumping in because i said the brand so wrong it's musera musera don't know what i just said honestly one thing about me is i can never say anything right the first time and i actually hadn't heard anyone say the brand at that point so yeah i'm embarrassed i've not actually looked into it too much because i wanted it to be a bit of a surprise as well but apparently it's really nice and then we've got loads of activities lined up like yoga matcha making and then we've got like an evening dinner as well where we're all going to get dressed up and honestly it's going to be so good i'm pretty sure it's kind of like newcastle way so it's a couple hours away but yeah we're all getting a coach down together well i think most of us together the coach is getting us from like manchester piccadilly i've just filmed a pack with me for the little girly staycation this is her i literally have every single size of this bag it just gives cool girl i just love it actually goes with my new trainers these new balance from asos and then i've just packed like a handbag with just like all the bits and bobs that i need like my charger, my keys, stuff like that. But yeah, I literally have no expectations. So I feel like it's going to be just very exciting. But yeah, my mum's taking me to the train station now. So I'll check in with you soon. Please retain all tickets. I'm actually so excited about Thank you for travelling with Northern today. We hope that you have a pleasant onward journey. It's only a 15 minute train journey, so it's really quick. I thought I'd show you the itinerary for the next few days. How cute is it? We've got like... This is Manchester Piccadilly. Yeah, cheers. We've got yoga later, then we've got the dinner, and then we've got movie night. We've all got pyjamas apparently, so it's going to be really cute. And then like a wellness morning, breakfast, and matcha making. I absolutely love matcha, so I'm buzzing for that. We have just arrived. We were all the girlies. Guys, we have just got here. I don't know if I've actually told you where we are. I'm trying to find where it's. So yeah, we're at Kip and Nog. This is the rail of like all the clothes. I think this is all the gym stuff that we're going to be wearing because we've got yoga soon. I think this is like a games room. But a little bit of order of play of what's going to be happening in what order. I know you've all had a little bit of an itinerary. I'm Gemma. Um, so I work for Musera. I'm a chief product officer. And we launched in January. We're established in Manchester. The team's in Manchester. The office is in Manchester. But as you will all probably already know, we're exclusively all the shoppable on Sheen. We drop weekly trends every single Tuesday and um, they're very, very considered, very well thought through and we're now building that and we're extending that into activewear, into plus size, into menswear. So cute. <laughs> Hello guys, checking in from the countryside. It's like a UK paradise, like it's just stunning. There's basically different rooms. There's about 15 other girls here. No, I think there's about 15 girls in total and we're staying in the barn, which apparently has the best rooms. We are the lucky ones and I'm just feeling so grateful. Yeah, this is the view, like the garden area. And then that is the view with the fields and then down here you've got a hot tub which I think we'll be going in later we've got our swim stuff um, and this is like the balcony which leads us into our bedroom and then this is the bedroom that I'm sharing with Carly it's just so stunning we've got little baskets on our bed as well that's got little gifts on um, and that's the itinerary and there's just loads of bits in here which is so cute current body hair skin and nail gummies collagen gummies We've got the flat lay thing as well. I actually don't have one of them, so I'm buzzing to get that. 
um, a journal, but yeah, just very wholesome stuff. Excuse the mess that I've already made, but we also have personalized PJs as well, which have our names on. Like I said, I'm sharing with Carly, so we've got Carly's and mine, and this big mirror here. I feel like the lighting in here as well is just chef's kiss. And then we've got our dinner outfit, because we've got dinner later. It says, wear me for dinner, stunning. And then that's Carly's blazer outfit. I'm wearing like a long brown dress with like this gold detailing, which is stunning. Um, we picked up some gym stuff as well. So we've got yoga, but we actually do have some gym stuff, which was given to us. Um, I do really like this. It's like a green, gray color vibe. Apparently we're the only ones in the dressing room as well, which is just what the hell. Another amazing mirror little seat to get ready in later as well. I think me and Carly are going to do a little get ready with me vibe because why not? All these rails which we won't be able to fill. Oh my god, I didn't even see these as robes. Oh, they're from m &S as well. They'll be very snug. And then this is the bathroom. <sighs> Can't actually go that copper bath. The thing is, I don't think we've even got time to have a bath. I mean, I'm going to try and make time. Um... But yeah, I've got the toilet, the shower is humongous. Um, and then another mirror. There's many mirrors in this place. You're looking really cute today. Thank you. But yeah, I just cannot get over it. Like, what is this going on? But yeah, I'm going to walk around the rest of the barn. There are people like about, so I'm just probably going to go to all the bedrooms and stuff. But yeah, I'll go down and show you around. So to get to our room, we go up these big stairs. So let's go down here. It's very like countryside chic vibes. Like there's a literal motorbike just randomly in here. I got the bathroom downstairs, which is again just stunning. And then another girl's bedroom, but I'm not gonna go in there because I don't know if they're in there, I don't want to intrude. And then we've got in here, I think this is like I don't actually know, I think it's like a well the kitchen's in there, so this must be like a wash room. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't lie, that is terrifying and I really hope that's not real. That is horrible. That is terrifying. Like it actually looks real. Mm, I don't like that. I really don't like that. The bathroom in here and then some of the girls in here so I will scan through <laughs> but this is the living room space and then up there some beds where some of the girls are going to be staying tonight and then here is the kitchen area actually the biggest kitchen that i've ever seen in my life and then this is the outdoor area i thought I'd just a little barbecue i mean we won't be doing that but that's our balcony up there like what the actual hell i can't actually cope and then the hot tub i am pretty sure we're going in that we brought some stuff but i'm not sure and then this is like a stable i think but i don't know if there's actually maybe it's just for show i don't know if there's actually animals in <laughs> am i being stupid but yeah that is a tour of the barn a lot of the girls have actually left to go and get pictures but yeah we're going to yoga now so yeah i'll make sure to vlog there on my way to yoga i'm literally so excited guys this place is just insane okay so this is where we're having dinner later wow what the hell and then this is where we're doing yoga thank you yeah. i'm sat here how cute we've got our own Stanley. How cute. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> what else we got? I don't know what that is. Um, then we've got a towel. And then this is like a beanbag thing. Some little cards. This is so cute. Enroll Then <laughs> from your downward facing dog, begin to walk your feet forward towards your hands at the top. Take a little more breath there. Hey guys, I'm just checking in on the balcony I've got the evening dress on now yoga was honestly so good I felt so zen but yeah I've only got 10 minutes until dinner so I thought I'd quickly show you my outfit this is perfume by the way the dress is absolutely stunning hi <laughs> They're seeing if this is the vibe for the photos <laughs> um but yeah i thought i'd just quickly check in time just goes really quickly but yeah Carly knows the drill. <laughs> <laughs> this is carly's outfit she's gone for like business woman. business woman i feel like we're like same vibe 
yeah, different. All chocolate. Yeah, in the brown chocolate vibes. we wanted to go in the hot tub and just like look around and to be honest i didn't have the best sleep i think because it's a changed environment it just i don't know and also i feel like i was really excited and i had a cup of tea which was not a good idea um just before i went to bed so yeah but i'm currently in the games room <laughs> not looking very cute i just thought i'd tell you that we got up really early um i'll show you outside actually because it's really misty it's a big change from yesterday because that was very gloomy it's so weird no one's up apart from us so yeah i'll show you outside so this is the outside so it's a lot different from yesterday it's very cozy actually i think it's just i don't know it's nice we intended to get up for the sunrise but i don't think there's gonna be a sunrise no the sunrise is not sunrising just check it no there's no one in here <laughs> we were worried there was going to be people sleeping in here but there's actually no bed so that wouldn't make any sense yeah, yeah. oh the breathing room let's go and have a look at the sauna room this little bathroom oh, i just love it it's just so aesthetic and just gorgeous okay so this is the sauna i think oh, here we are it's over there please excuse how bad i look right now i'm not even brushing hair yeah i don't know so I feel like I do not want to get involved with coal and fire and stuff. I would be the one that burns this place down and we do not want that. Is that the cold bath? Yeah. I mean, we basically just went in a cold bath anyway. We went in the hot tub and we thought it was going to be really hot, but it was hot. But then you only like move around, it got cold. It had like areas of hot and hot areas of cold. So I don't miss us on a shower, hot shower. <laughs> Um, <coughs> I don't know. Do you think maybe we message one of the girls and say, I feel bad, I don't want to wake anyone up. I don't think it's on. It's only 24 degrees, that's freezing. Oh. I am the only one here and I just ordered a hot chocolate. How good does that look? Cozy level right now. The fire on and everything. I can't believe it's like half seven now and I'm just getting about in my pajamas. Little outfit check for matcha making. Very cute. We're actually all wearing the same outfit. <laughs> We're all matching. So here we are. Good morning. The sun is actually out, but it doesn't look the sunniest of weather. But yeah, we had a really cute morning, me and Olivia. We got up really early. I didn't actually have the best sleep. Definitely my own fault though, because I had a cup of tea at half ten. Um, usually doesn't affect me but I think because I was really excited and obviously the change environment I just think yeah I just slept really bad it probably took me like an hour maybe two hours to get to sleep which is crazy like I'm usually 
out like a light like it's never that long but yeah we're all ready for matcha making now which is very up my street i do love my matcha so yeah it's gonna be really cute but yeah i was saying to the girls i just don't want to leave i feel like a night away it just goes so quickly so obviously so grateful for one night but when you're somewhere like this you just don't want to leave <laughs> to be fair me and my boyfriend are going somewhere in the uk i don't know where yet he's bought it for my birthday so i'm hoping it's like a similar vibe to this because this would literally be perfect I'm a pro at this because I do it at home all the time. Right. Sorry. <laughs> I want this. Um, you've got some mashed strawberries on your table. So you can do a strawberry vanilla mash if you like. If you like it plain, just do the matcha on its own. So you can see the little cups with the matcha powder in them. So just pop a tiny bit of hot water. Splash of hot water in here. In right in here. In here. So like that's not. <laughs> You know it's enough when it goes frothy. You want to mix it enough that it's got a bit of froth on top. See, See I am a pro. So so I think you need more. You guys have a few matcha. Are you sure? Have we got some yeah. vanilla? Vanilla? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, vanilla. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice with the vanilla. Can I just say some milk? Mm -hmm. I mean, yours is the prettiest colour. Yeah, it's green. It's mint. Is it though? Nice little light green, a little, a little ice milk with a touch of matcha. Not even taste the strawberry. I'm gonna add some more matcha. Guys, it's time to go, and I'm so sad. I'm just packing all my stuff up now. But honestly, we've had the best time. But yeah, I'm gonna quickly pack now because everyone pretty much has, apart from me. Hi guys, interrupting the vlog here. Um, just got back from the trip and realised I had not one but two Canon G7Xs in my bag, and I thought, oh dear. I've took Hannah's camera home with me, so yeah. On my way to drop the camera back to her, I'm so sorry, Hannah. Love you. Hello, guys. I'm just jumping in to close the vlog up. Oh my god, that last segment. There's actually like a whole story to that. It was honestly so stressful. I basically thought I lost my camera. Basically, what I did was take my camera out of my bag to get the SD card out, and then I just transferred all the photos from the SD card onto my phone. At this point, I was sat on a different seat on the coach, so this was on the coach on the way home, but I ended up changing seats, so my first thought was, oh my god, I've left it on the coach, because basically, I got to Manchester Piccadilly, checked my bag, and I had this weird feeling that I didn't have my camera with me. It was so weird, and then I checked my bag. It wasn't there. I was like, oh my god, I've left it on the coach then i ended up bringing the girls that work for the brand because obviously i'm like i need my camera obviously wanted to make sure that the coach like definitely had it as well they obviously got in touch with the coach driver and the coach driver was like there is no camera on here obviously i was panicking but i actually wasn't even that bothered about losing it because they actually have the camera insured it's more so i had so much like footage and you know, I wanted to put this vlog together and I was really excited to put it together. At this point, I was on the way to the hospital with my mum and I was literally like nearly in tears, like I was so stressed. But anyway, it turned out that when I went to sit at the back of the coach with the girls, I sat next to Olivia. Olivia also has a Canon G7X, so it was easily done. She just picked up mine as well. I did actually message all the girls, like, does anyone have my camera? And she didn't actually answer till quite later on because her phone had died. So yeah, I was really stressed and I was actually in for my appointment at this point, so I had seen the message saying that she actually had my camera so when i saw the message i was so gassed i just felt so relieved because i just really wanted the footage from the trip because obviously it was such a lovely trip you would have seen but yeah that's basically what happened it was stressful but it's fine and to be fair i did think how could i have lost it like surely someone's picked it up it didn't make any sense oh someone's ringing me who's ringing me hello 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 what are you doing today uh nothing can we go and do something yeah what do you want to do sorry about that oh that is so cute that danny wants to go out and do something i'm actually so proud of him he actually got a job offer today so he's probably in high spirits and wants to go out and to be fair the sun is out you can see the blue skies over there and there was actually the northern lights outside as well last night but yeah that was the longest outro ever i hope you enjoyed this vlog and i just wanted to say a massive thank you to musera for inviting me on the trip the reasoning behind the trip i just wanted to say was because they've launched loads of activewear obviously they've just got like 
their dressy stuff. They've got some casual stuff, really cute autumn winter bits as well. But now they've got a load of active wear, which is such good quality. It's giving like Adenola. I'm not even joking. And obviously it's on Sheen, so it is a lot more affordable. But yeah, we had the best time and it's definitely made me want to go on more staycations like that. It was just so cozy and that Kipper Nook was literally actually incredible. There's actually a guy who lives like right next to where we were staying and he actually owns the whole thing. I think he built it all himself and yeah, he should be so proud of himself because it's literally such an amazing place. But yeah, I'm not gonna ramble on anymore because this outro is probably the longest outro you've ever seen. But yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.